G'day, Shah here once again with Four Wheels on the Road, helping you get the most out of your time away. This week we're down here with our good friends at City Rubber Tires and More. We're taking a look at Ben's Ford Ranger Raptor here. He's already had a ton of work done on it and he's getting the final touches put on today by putting a great new exhaust system in. We wanted to give you some ideas on what you could potentially do for your vehicle if you wanted to come and see the team here at City Rubber. So let's go check it out. Running through now from the front of the truck on the changes that have been made to the vehicle so far. It features a Supreme Innovations X Series bull bar. This is a 3mm thick steel bull bar with an advanced powder coating. What you can do with these bull bars and what you'll see here is that Ben's got it color coded to match the color of the vehicle. These are winch compatible with the built-in cradle and number plate hinge for easy winch access. What you can also do with these is add a under vehicle bash plate and recovery points at a later date as well. In terms of your lighting needs, the bar itself features a 30 inch double row equivalent size light bar for dark off-road conditions and it also has integrated RGB backlights for DRL use and a little bit of fun. On the sides as well, it also features four LED cube lights, which work as indicators and also powerful fog lights. They're also integrated with RGB backlights for DRL purposes. The RGB functions can easily be controlled with a free smartphone app as well. These bars are airbag compliant and they also support factory sensors, cameras and tech packs. For protection from the elements, they've gone with a ceramic paint protection and to protect the headlights, taillights and windows, they've added a PPF plastic protection and window tinting. This features an inner layer that bonds to the lenses and evens out any surface imperfections. This thermoplastic urethane film will protect the vehicle's plastics from external factors like road debris, minor scratches and the harmful effects of ultraviolet rays. From a visual standpoint, also, they've removed the Raptor sticker from the rear quarter of the vehicle. And also visually and to protect the tray, they've added a tonneau cover onto the back of the vehicle as well. And to keep all of this connected to the road, they've upgraded to a Dirty Life GT1 satin gold 18 inch rim, which looks fantastic. And for tyres, they've gone for a 35-12.5 R18 Yokohama Geolander XAT, a Geo16. If you want to take a little bit more of a look at this tyre, I'll put a link for you in the top right hand side of your screen. It's the tyre that I'm currently running on my rig and I've had it on there for a couple of years now and they are a fantastic tyre. Now in order for us to take a look at the next section which is the suspension, we'll need to get the truck inside, get the wheels off and get the wheel arches off which we'll do right now. The Ford Ranger Raptor comes with Fox racing shocks that are included as part of the suspension system. These are a remote reservoir system and what the guys have done for this system is provided it with a 2 inch spring lift and in doing so what they've needed to do is get the shocks revalved which you'll see here. These come with a normal sport and off-road setting. As you can see here as well, the controls for adjusting the stiffness of the suspension are done via controls on the steering wheel here, which is pretty handy. All right, so now that we've got the truck up on the lift and the wheels off and the arches off, it's time for us to get into the meat and potatoes and actually why we're here, and that is to put the new Tickford exhaust system in. What we're going with today is a three inch stainless steel bimodal Tickford exhaust. A little bit about this exhaust system, what it does is it provides you with 10% more power. So the current setup on the Ranger Raptor is it has 305 kilowatts at the wheels and what this system will actually upgrade it to is 335 kilowatts at the wheels, which is fantastic. So let's take a look with Pete now at the process of getting the old exhaust out and the new exhaust fitted and ready to go. According to the information on the Tickford website, the estimated fitting time is around about three to four hours, which is about what it took to get the unit in. The only real fiddly parts are getting the exhaust gas oxygen sensors off, which Pete is taking off 
the old exhaust system now and apart from that the most time consuming part of getting the exhaust system out is just undoing all the bolts and making sure that you can get everything out. What Pete ended up having to do here was take one of the subframe braces off so that he could more easily get one of the exhaust pieces out which made things much easier for installation of the new Tickford system. And now that everything's in place for the new Tickford system, it's time to fire it up. What we did previously is took a look at what the different exhaust modes sounded like with the original exhaust system, which I'll show you right now. And then we'll compare those after that with the new system in place and see what the difference is. As you can hear there's quite a difference even just revving it to 4000 revs like we are here. The real test will be to get it out on the road. So let's get Ben to do a couple of drive-bys and see what it sounds like. So as you can hear it sounds fantastic. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. Also don't forget to like, subscribe and most importantly share the channel. Also, if you're interested in getting some modifications or any builds done for your vehicle, come down and see Ben and the crew here at City Rubber. They'll be only too happy to help you. Alright, well, once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time we get four wheels on the road.